Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. As you may know, Windows 11 22H2 version is released to everyone. The standard way how to get this Windows 11 update is to open settings. So we just search settings and once you see the app settings, you click over it in order to open. And then from the options on the left, you need to click Windows Update. And then once you are here, you click over Install All or update this PC and then you will be able to take the latest version of Windows 11 which in this case is Windows 11 22H2. In order to see which version of Windows 11 you have installed in your PC you need to go on the option system on the left and then you scroll down till you find about here on the right and here we can see that in my PC is installed version 22H2. But there are some users that are complaining that Windows 11 22H2 is not showing on their PC. And in this video I'll show to you guys how you can still update Windows 11 to the latest version. Not from Windows Update but by downloading the ISO file from the website of Microsoft. So we just search here Windows 11 22H2 download and now we will open this website of Microsoft. I'll put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page where you can download the ISO file of Windows 11 22H2 version because Microsoft now has uploaded on their servers the latest version of Windows 11. So once you are in this page, you will have two options how to get the latest update of Windows 11. The easiest method is to download Windows 11 installation assistant. This is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device you are currently using or to update it to the latest version. So we just click here download now and then it will download the installation assistant. We double click on it in order to update to the latest version. In my case, it will show that this device is already running the latest version of Windows 11, but in your case, it will not show this. So you just have to press next, next, next and choose the options that will be shown there in order to update to the latest version of Windows 11. And the last option that you need to try is to download the ISO image, which will work for sure in any cases. So we just have to select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO and then we click over download, validating your request. And here you have to select which language your Windows 11 already have. In my case, it has English United States. And then we click over confirm. Now we need to click over this link here, 64-bit download. And now we need to wait till Windows 11 22H2 English version is downloaded. It's around 5 gigabyte. Once you have downloaded the ISO file, you just double click on it in order to open. And now that we have opened or extracted the ISO file of Windows 11, we need to go over setup file and we double click over here. And now it will start updating or installing Windows 11. I want to mention that this sounds like an installation of Windows 11, but actually in case that you have already Windows 11 installed there, it will just update it to the latest version. So here it will pop up this window which will tell you install Windows 11. We'll press over next. Now it is checking for updates. So it will get the latest updates. Now it will show me this license and terms. We just need to accept them. And the license that we have already, for sure, it will still work after this update. It's again checking for updates. We have to keep in mind that all the necessary updates will be automatically installed by doing these steps. After the updates are downloaded on your PC during the Windows 11 setup, now it will pop up this window which is telling making sure you are ready to install. This may take a few minutes also. So this process will take you some time, so basically to download these updates and then to install them, it will take you some time, but I'm shortening these videos so I don't take a lot from your time. Making sure your PC has enough space, so it will require you to have at least 10 GB free space. So now it will pop up this window which is telling you choose what to keep. 
In this case, we'll keep personal files and apps, so basically we don't want anything to be deleted from my PC. I just want this PC to be updated to the latest version. So I choose this option and I click over next. Now it will check again some more updates and checking your storage, etc, etc. But after this step, you will be able to install Windows 11 version 22H2 on your PC. Basically, that's all that you have to do in order to update Windows 11 to the latest version if you are not able to update it through settings. That's all that I want to share with you guys. I hope you like this video and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.